We were just, just, just wondering, uh, Ruben's got a, a little bit on his plate tomorrow with a UC Championship final and so on. Is he going to get here in time for, for this? How's that all going to play out? Yeah, yeah fingers crossed uh, uh, things will go to plan uh, in terms of uh, from a counter perspective and, and Ruben will be here on time. But uh, yeah, he certainly had a lot on his plate, uh, not just this week, but, but in recent weeks as well, uh, having to... Uh, coach across two teams, which has, uh, yeah, no doubt been challenging for him at times. You'd be on speaking terms with him, by the way? It's, uh... Oh, it's been a little <laughs> bit of uh, friendly banter, uh, given I'm an old boy uh, from, from down Straven Road there. So, uh, no, it's all, it's all pretty friendly at the end of the day. So, uh, uh, look, I think uh, it's an exciting um, uh, game. I think people should look forward to I think, I think both teams are, are looking pretty strong on paper. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, hopefully uh, it's, it's a good game to watch. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. Also, hopefully, boys hold them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just a wee, wee tweak in the back line. Phil Burley with his, his knee injury. Just, just talk us through the changes he's made. <laughs> yeah, so Phil's injured his uh, uh, it's a left uh, knee, um, medial ligament strain. So Phil won't be back uh, fully training um, for another two to three weeks. So, uh, so yeah, that just means uh, Braden Enor uh, gets an opportunity to slip. Uh, back into the familiar uh, number 13 jersey for him, where he's played, played a lot of his rugby, of course. And Sam Beard uh, just pushes him 1-12. to 12, So, uh, also really excited about having George Bridge uh, uh, in, uh, back in the back line there. Uh, he brings a lot of experience uh, and a lot of enthusiasm uh, from the back, which, which I think is going to be of huge value for the game. Brayton's been tremendous in, in the 13 jersey, but we haven't seen him so much in a red and black jersey. That role, how much of an adjustment has that been this week, just with that tweak? Uh, yeah, there's no doubt that, that it's an adjustment. Um, obviously, it's, it's a challenging role, uh, speaking from experience defensively. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be uh, an adjustment that, that we'll have to make. So we've just made sure that we've, as a coaching group, we've, we've really uh, utilised the time as well as we can and, and helping Braden to adjust uh, uh, for a smooth transition back into that jersey. Uh, at the end of the day, he's familiar with the position. It's just a matter of fine-tuning uh, a couple of little bits and pieces, yeah. What would have been the sort of major fix-ups this week? Obviously, it's disappointing to open the campaign on the wrong side of the ledge. Yeah, look, uh, no doubt it was, it was, a, it was a tough uh, first up game against the quality um, Tasman outfit. Um, and, and as you alluded to, the silver lining is that there were some, some key learnings that come out of the group, and it's, it's a fairly new-looking group, which uh, you guys will acknowledge, and certainly in some areas. So, um, look, for us, we were slow to start last week. Uh, discipline at the defensive breakdown um, gave away, uh, you know, penalties at, at, at uh, well, too many at the start, and that we struggled from, from the back of that to get territory and, and we didn't have a lot of quality possession so just making sure that we're a lot more disciplined with our defence this week and then when we do get the ball just making sure that we're more accurate in what we're doing with it. Um, I felt we left a couple of tries on the field last week um, so on the other side of the ball just making sure that we're, we're accurate with our decision making and our skill set so we can take the opportunities when, when we create them and when they're presented. So a week on, a wee bit more familiarity with each other. You'd, a lot of those things, in some ways, might might just iron themselves out. Yeah, exactly. We've actually had a really good week. Uh, we identified the, the critical areas where we where we felt we could uh, improve and grow, and I think we've we've, we've prepared really well and and um, you know, looking to grow those areas. So um, looking forward to the challenge ahead against the, uh, what looks to be a strong Wellington team. Uh, Set the pace, a big one, obviously this week after the line out last week. Yeah, obviously, particularly in that first 30 minutes. Uh, uh, just throwing the ball to the wrong, the wrong areas, and um, you know, Tasman were smart enough to pick those off when they. So, hey, look again, another key learning for us. We, we, we can't, we can't play rugby uh, with the ball in hand and, and build phases and build pressure and convert that into points if, if we're not getting ball from the source. So, uh, look, everybody in the team, particularly the forwards, they acknowledge the importance of winning the ball at the set piece. That's where it starts. So, uh, yeah. Again, that's an area that we're focused on tidying up, and I'm sure we'll be better uh, uh, this week against Wellington. Looking at their Wellington side, doesn't get a lot easier, does it, this week? No, nah, it's, it's got a real classic sort of Wellington look about it, hasn't it? Big, dynamic ball carriers uh, in the forwards and in the back line. So we're going to have to really bring our A game defensively, I think, uh, to make, just make sure that we're not giving those, those guys too much go for it. Otherwise, it's going to be a pretty tough day at the office. Just, just for, for you know, a lot of negative things we've talked about there, but just, just on the flip side of that, there were some fairly long stretches where you had to 
protect your own line there and the, the waves kept coming and you were able to hold them out. So, so that, you know, the commitment to that end was has been satisfying. Yeah, absolutely. As I say, there were some silver linings from last week's game and that, that was probably one of the main ones, well, well, probably the main one, was that you still, um, you're only 10-3 down at half time. Uh, you've had 70%, uh, sorry, 30% territory. Um, so it says a lot about uh, our, our, our positive attitude on defence to hold them out. Um, for those periods that you've, that you've uh, alluded to there. So, uh, yeah, we can certainly take some confidence going to this week's game uh, in terms of backing our defence, uh, again, against the Wellington team that, that possesses threats across the field.